Hey everyone, I'm Colin here at E-Trailer. Today we have a 2019 Toyota Tundra, and we're gonna do a test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system. This roof rack is going to mount to the naked roof of your Tundra. It's gonna allow you to get your favorite accessories on top of your roof, whether you have a bike rack, a cargo basket, or even a rooftop cargo box. That'll help conserve space on the inside of your cab or even in the bed of your pickup. Up top, we're gonna to have our Wing Bar Evo crossbars. These are gonna measure 60 inches long, and they're also gonna have a nice aerodynamic shape to them. That, when coupled with the rubber strip up top, it's gonna to help cut down on wind noise and drag when compared to your standard square or round bar roof rack system. That rubber strip also lets us know we can utilize T-Track accessories with this roof rack. All we have to do is flip open the cap right there. We don't have to pull off the end cap like some other systems. And instead of having to pull off the rubber strip and then cut it to length for whatever, for whatever roof rack accessory we're using, we can just slide the T-Track in between the two rubber strips. It's gonna prevent us from having to replace that rubber strips when we're done. Then when we're all done with the T-Track, we just close that end cap and we're good to go. Now in the middle, we're gonna have our Evo feet for naked roofs. These are gonna be what's connecting the fit kit to your crossbars. The clamp feet have a bolt on the inside which tightens down the hook to the roof. We're gonna have under it our fit kit which is a rubber coated hook and a very thick rubber pad. Those are gonna help protect your roof from any type of scratches or abrasions. You can see the nice custom fit design to that pad comes over the curvature of our roof and sits down on that ledge right there. The rubber coated hook is gonna latch right under our door frame and once we tighten that bolt down, it's gonna pull it up. And once we tighten it down on both sides, it's gonna be secure on our roof. When we put the end cap back on, we see we do have some plastic locks right here. We can replace those with Thule lock cores. That'll give a more secure feeling for our roof rack. So no one can just come up and remove it. Now I do wanna provide you guys with a few measurements. First, we're gonna go from the top of our roof to the bottom of our wing bar. It's gonna be two and a quarter inches. Now that's plenty of space to be able to get any clamp-on accessories under the wing bar to clamp around and secure. Now if we go from the top of our roof to the top of our crossbar, it's gonna be three and three quarter inches. So you wanna keep that in mind because that's how much height you've added to the roof of your Tundra. So for any low clearance situations like pulling it in your garage, keep in mind that you have that added height to your roof. We're also gonna have a 220 pound weight capacity for our wing bar setup. That is a step up from their previous load bar roof rack, but be sure to double check with your Tundra's owner's manual to make sure your roof can handle that weight. Now that we've gone over some of those features, let's show you guys how to get it installed. The front one installs and assembles the exact same way. How we got the front one in place was we set it on top of our roof and then we measured from the top of our windshield to the front of our foot. That measurement you can find in your instructions. We'll start by just flipping over our crossbar. We're gonna to go to the end cap and take that off. We'll set it to the side. Now we're gonna come over here to our fit kit and put that together. So we have our Evo clamp foot right here. We're gonna take our pad, clamp that on. The pads are numbered right here to assist you with which spot on the roof they go. Again, that information is on your instructions. Just make sure you get the correct pad number on the correct spot on the roof. There's gonna be diagrams on the instructions to let you know exactly where it sits. Just press that on there until it clamps all the way around. Now we'll grab our hook. And again, these are gonna be numbered. However, the hooks in this kit are all gonna be the exact same. You're not gonna to have to worry about getting a certain hook on a certain part of the roof. So what we're gonna do is take the hook. We're going to push it into the slot. When you hear a click, that lets you know that's locked in place right there. Go ahead and try to pull on it. If it doesn't move, then we can go over and get it on our crossbar. Now we have our scale already preset to the number specified in our instructions. They're gonna be engraved on the scale. Once you have that, we're going to press in on the two silver buttons right there. It's gonna unlock the channel so we can slide it into the T-track of our crossbar. We're going to push it forward until it makes contact with the edge of the scale. Once it's there, let go of the buttons, and now it's locked in place. Put your end cap on. Now we can put it on our roof. With both rear doors open, we're gonna step up onto our running board. 
We're going to extend it over our roof and just set it down. We don't have to worry about tightening anything down because we have to get our crossbar spread to make sure it's sitting in the correct spot. Now I don't have the rear door shut all the way, just enough to where I can reach up and make a measurement. We're gonna go from the front of the back crossbar to the front of our front crossbar. This measurement you can find in your instructions. I'm gonna have to come up a little bit. Once you have that measurement, make sure you repeat this for the other side. Now we can begin tightening up our feet. What we're gonna do is tighten it down until we see our pad making contact with the roof and it's flush all the way around the curves. Right now, the reason it's kind of tilted up is because the other side is pulling just a little bit more. So once we tighten that down and get it flush, we'll go, we'll go to the other side and then repeat this and just keep going back and forth until we have it tightened down all the way. We've got the other side fully tightened down. Now we'll just finish up this side. The tool is gonna let you know when you have it completely torqued down the tool will make a couple of clicks, letting us know that it's torqued to the correct spe specifications. Right there, now we know it's tight. We can shut our door, and then we'll just put our end cap on. Go ahead and give your roof rack a quick shake. Make sure that it's steady. We see it's shaking the entire truck, which means we're ready to hit the road. Thank you all for watching. That's gonna do it for our test fit of the Thule Wing Bar Evo roof rack system on our 2019 Toyota Tundra.